Oh, All right. this this Tinder thing. Yeah, this was wild. <laughs> I saw a few clips. <laughs> this is wild. So this is how the show opens. We have a Quarren ship just kind of flying in space and uh, a bunch of Mandalorians in Moff Gideon's light cruiser uh, intercept them. And their whole point of intercepting them is because a some kind of family member of a Mon Cal Calamari royal family or something. Let's see if we can get him here. Um, is here on the ship with them. And it's kind of, here we go. We got this kind of, oh, let's back it up a little bit. We've got this kind of uh, yeah. romance going on here between these two. And uh, the Mandalorians show up, board the ship, take them on Calamari. And this entire sequence is literally just, is, is dustbin, um, memory hold, I guess is the term, uh, sent to the dustbin of history immediately after. There's this, there is nothing that happens from this it's just it's just there this is what the mandalorians are doing i guess now is what it's trying to show us they are now being paid to go and get uh people that are actively uh choosing to love other people and they're stopping them <laughs> like that is the point i guess the point of this i don't it's it's just i don't understand it it makes no sense why was it even in here completely cut it it has no it has no um there's no value here there's nothing yeah. It's not entertaining. Um, th th this should have been done way better if you're going to do this. You should have shown the Mandalorians actually either defending this place that we will see in the first part from an attack, like, uh, you know, what should have been happening uh, in the previous episode when the pirates attack. So you could have had the pirate. You should you could have had another faction of the pirates attacking Plazar 15 or whatever, and the Mandalorians are actually there defending it as mercenaries. Or you could have had them actually... Um, they're kind of independent and they've uh, taken a job from the huts and, and they're doing some kind of uh, an actual raid on like the Pike Syndicate or something like that. Uh, would have been actually a more entertaining, fun, and a, and a fun action sequence. Whether they would have gotten the tactics correct, probably not, as I don't think they've gotten any of the military tactics correct in, in, in the show at all. But uh, it would have been at least more entertaining, and people would have enjoyed it more. As as clearly the IMDb user reviews show, people do like a lot of those action sequences, even though I think that they're kind of illogical, and uh, uh, I don't really buy, <laughs> buy them a lot. And I, I I do criticize them for that. But clearly, people do like that. You can see that in the scores. It's very obvious that people thought the last episode was one of the better episodes, whereas like I think that was the worst episode because it hung coming off in the poor narrative and storytelling but yeah this was this was stupid i hate it this is dumb it shouldn't even been here uh, I, I like so many people could have given you a better idea on how to show what the mandalorians are doing rather than this uh disney-fied mission that the mandalorians are taking from and it, it flies in the face of what we just saw uh, the children of the watch do which was literally drop down and like blast a pirate in the back of the uh in its back, like almost execution style, we uh, we saw some violence and some um, actual kind of like uh, like real violence. Like these people were they were blowing them up, destroying them. We see a huge ship get blown up. I mean, there were there were at least there was that. This Mandalorians are doing like ridiculous, stupid mission for Mon Calamari family. I mean, it, well, this is it was laughable. Like, this is laughable. Like I saw a few clips from the episode and this was among them and then stuff with the uh, Jack Black's character that'll come up in a little bit here. Um I just even like again, one little line would have made this whole scene tie into the rest of the episode. As they're taking him away, the the uh correct me if I'm wrong, but uh who who's the squid the squid guy, the Akbar guy? The 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 squid guy on the the person on the left is a Mon Calamari. Yeah, the Mon Calamari. On the right is a Quarren. And yeah, so, in the canon, right. they have a they they warred with each other. And the Quarren were actually part were manipulated by the Separatists to attack the Mon Calamari because they live on the same planet. So again, the one, one quick little piece of dialogue would have been great as they're walking this guy out, like they have him by the arms and he's struggling, and they're ha hauling him out. She says. But Bo Katan says, you know that peace your people have? It's because this stuff doesn't isn't allowed to happen. And he looks up at her and he says, Bombardier doesn't think that way. And that would have been quick. <laughs> done. 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 
would have tied it into the rest of the episode. People yes. were like, oh, it's a Romeo and Juliet thing. Forbidden love. I get it. Nope. Nope. We're not going to do that. That's too easy. Screw that. Right. Again, you could have maybe tied it into the rest of the episode as well. See, I, I, I think the whole thing should have been just axed, and I want to see the Mandalorians being Mandalorians, yeah, uh, doing true. military stuff, uh, rather than, than this, cleaning up Tinder uh, dates. Yes, <laughs> rather than whatever this is. But yeah, even then, you could have at least tied it in, because you don't even, like, we never even, the Mandalorians never even drop this guy off, or we, or see anything like yeah, that. It's, it's just, just in the back again, of Bo's ship, like, hello? Hello? It's literally just memory hold. It is like, yep. oh, this scene is here and it's memory hold. And I don't know if it's because they filmed other things and they just decided to chop this up in editing or what. And I, I can't use that excuse anymore. I feel like I've used that excuse like the past two or three episodes that they've just done weird editing. But I, they, it's at, at some point, it's not editing anymore. So, you just have, it's just trash writing and whatever you had that you that you wrote is just absolute garbage. And, they had a great opportunity. Far for the course of it. They had a, they had a great opportunity. Bo-Katan would have had one job, the real Mandalorian clans making more Mandalorians. That's it. Remember, she was assigned to go out and, and bring in people. So you got this, this yeah. sad sack, uh, Mon Calamari here. They can't make it happen with his core and girlfriend, you know, cause of bad things. So like you spend this whole episode on him then where he joins them. So you get to specify what the hell the way is. Oh, heck, excuse me, what the heck the way is. You get to specify why they wear the helmet. Grogu gets a chance to learn what the induction ceremony looks like. And this guy says, if I can't love her, then I'll dedicate my life to something more important, like freedom. And he joins the way. Oh, uh, yeah, possibly. I mean, you could, there, there's, I mean, possibly. I mean, again, I think this whole scene should have just been axed and you do something completely different where you get an, a fun action sequence with the Mandalorians, either uh, raiding like the Pike Syndicate, they are actually defending the planet that uh, they've been that tasked bird? to do. Yeah, killing like, like killing the bird. I don't know. Something interesting, fun, and an action sequence to kind of draw us in. Yep. Not uh, this weird, like, like you call it, a breaking up a uh, Tinder date or whatever. Budget Nano concern. Reaper saying it's a budget concern. I mean, y y you could still do low, but like, it, I don't even think this is a budget concern because this is just bad. This is a waste. Telling. Like, if you wanted, if, if it, this is a budget concern, you cut this out and you don't actually make it because this is taking up budget. Like, you don't like it. You don't need it. So yeah, it's consuming uh, a lot of budget because look at all the special effects, the extras, the scene itself, the lighting crew, the sound effects crew, cinema crew, everybody involved in this to just not have any payoff. It's just a thing. Yeah. yeah. Volume dealer is right. I mean, this is what I say for a lot of Mandalorian episodes. The best part of the episodes is the uh, concept art at the end of the show. And that's been yeah, the, the case, what in been. my opinion, since season <laughs> one. It's like, wow, we actually have really cool art, really cool set, like, you have these. Uh, the, the, you see the imagination and the stuff that they could 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 do, but then when you actually get the execution, it's just it's it sucks. It's real. It's bad.